What do you want to do? Thanks for coming in. Oh, this place looks interesting. This drink. What are your thoughts? I enjoyed that. All right. Thank you. See you later. I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, 
This is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? Well, I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Mmm. You. It's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric, like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh? But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> what a strange man. declining his offer? It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me, but for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. Blood oath. Thy 
bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Emperor, granting thee infinite power. Persona within me has awakened to a new power. All right. Now that I'm out of my slum, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. Ah, you're back. Well then. Prevention is key. What shall we do? Here we go. What do you think? Be careful. Let's go. You know, I've been thinking about what Akia Makun said to me. How I've changed. For some reason, I couldn't bring myself to run away back when I saved him. So, I was thinking why that may have been. Honestly, I was pretty desperate at the time, so I don't remember much. But in the back of my head, I was thinking what you would do in that situation. I mean, you put yourself on a line to stop Kamushida, and probably other villains too. So, I thought there had to be something I could do myself. <laughs> I was only acting out of fear though. You know, I've always wanted to change. I wanted to go from a dull nobody everyone messes with to the famous world-renowned hero. But you helped me realize something important. Heroes aren't heroes because they're famous. It's because they fight for other people. Looking back on it, what I really wanted to change was the weak me. The me on the volleyball team who let wrongdoing go unpunished even though I knew it was unjust. The cowardly me who looked the other way when people I knew were in need of help. Tell me the truth. I only changed because you stole my heart, right? Huh? You mean I didn't have a change of heart? What? <sighs> no, it really was you. You changed my heart. All this time, I've been looking up to the Phantom Thieves, pretending to be a collaborator. And now, I'm finally able to stop pretending. Truth be told, I had given up. I accepted that I was a zero, that my existence was meaningless. But I've learned. I may not be able to change the world, but I can change myself. Whether I sulk about my inability to do anything, or hold my head high and look to the future, my perception shapes the boundaries of my world. It all comes down to what's inside my heart. I might still mess up every so often, but as long as you're here, I'll be able to stand up again. 
So, I may not be the best person around, but you can feel free to rely on me at least sometimes. And no matter what the world says, I'll be rooting for you, just like you were for me. to a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the moon, granting thee infinite power. All right. You know what? I'm going to find you an awesome request. That's all I can really do for you right now. But I'm working on that documentary, too. I even plan on making it into a book someday. I bet anyone who reads about the Phantom Thieves would find the hidden courage within themselves. Maybe that means I can use that book to change people's hearts. All right, I'm on it. Oh, but before that, I'm hungry. Come on. Let's grab a bite to eat on the way home. Maybe a buffet? Wait, no. We should save that for after I get all my book royalties. <laughs> you better be looking forward to it.
Um... All right. think about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death, but it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. <laughs> I sure kept her waiting. But it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. Oh, I told her about you, too. Idiot. I should be the one thanking you. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. I approve. Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It was because of you, wasn't it? I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. Do all fathers have to go through this anxiety? You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Not just Futaba, but you, too. I may not always be reliable, but feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you, as family. And, uh, uh, I know, I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor, but it's all I can do. I am thou, but thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power. Could you not, uh, you know, get with Futaba? I can't imagine you calling me father. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. What are you two talking about? Nothing. I hunger! Curry time! Yeah, yeah. Let's go home.
Thanks.
right. Hey, thanks for coming in. You're right. I feel a little more mature. All right. Thank you. All right, then. Yo. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. What do you want to do? Okay. Wow! Ah. Hey! Hey! All right. Want to head back? Ah, you're back. Hey, thanks for coming in. It's such a pleasant atmosphere. Today we're going over. This is it. Oh, Senpai! There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Would you mind if I joined you for lunch? Thank you. All right, let's head to the roof. It's starting to get rather cold, isn't it? Sorry to bring you here. This is something I oughtn't really bring up around other people. Senpai, are you still planning to continue on as the Phantom Thieves? Lately, I haven't been hearing any positive gossip about the Phantom Thieves. Despite how much people cheered on your cause, even though they knew nothing about you or your friends, all they do now is speak ill of the Phantom Thieves. I know it's not my place to say this, considering I turned down your offer to join and all, but this change in attitude is simply awful. They're doing the exact same thing to you all that they did to me. Yet, you're still going to keep at it? Why, Senpai? 
unfinished business. So, there's something left you have to do. Yeah. But don't worry about us. There isn't even a one in a million chance that my Phantom Thieves could ever lose. I see. Well, I won't stop you. However, could I ask a favor? Or rather, could you promise me something? Once things settle down, I'd like you to join me somewhere so we can go have some fun together. Then it's a deal. I'm already beginning to look forward to it. So, please be careful out there. Oh, but I plan to keep my other promise I made with you about the physical training. Tomorrow! Is that too sudden? Maybe we should train the day after tomorrow then? Uh, but that day's when... I see. <sighs> oh, I haven't eaten yet! Come on, Senpai. You need to eat, too. No one wins a fight on an empty stomach, you know. really do this? Excuse me! Well then. 